Birmingham City manager Gary Rowett has been pleased with the recent away results and may argue his side could have taken maximum points on their travels. I think sometimes when you're doing well, you know, you always look for the next level. You always look for the next bit of how we can improve and, and yeah, listen, maybe that's me being a bit greedy or maybe that's, I've said it previously, that maybe I've just pushed some a little bit too hard. Um, and I think that's that's just the byproduct sometimes of, of trying to be ambitious, you know. So um, I think once again we've we've yeah we've gone back to a little bit about what we are, um, and we tried to actually rather than be better at something else, we've tried to be better at what we do. Um, and I think that's probably the the key really. But we've learned every time we try to change something too much, um, you know, the reason we've done so well I think is because we've we found a system that suits the players and, and, and sometimes maybe we have to just accept that occasionally that's going to cause us a problem and sometimes by changing it as we saw against Huddersfield you, you almost get further away from the, the solution so um, I'm quite pleased with that and, and, and you know occasionally you need a, a defeat or two just to, to settle everything down and, and to perhaps take the pressure off as well I think you know maybe by falling out of the top six took the pressure off one or two of the players and, and maybe we can relax a little bit and, and, and play the football that we play. And, and certainly in terms of our football, not just our counter-attacking, but our football over the last two games, it's been a lot better. You know, We've been a lot more creative. Like you say, we've created an awful lot of chances that we really should be. Um, I think it'd be unfair on Middlesbrough to say we really should have won the game, but we certainly had opportunities to win the game. Uh, I don't think it would be unfair to say we should have won the Preston game. I think the key for us is when games are tight, we almost need something to drop for us at the moment or we need a little bit of fortune to get that winner rather than someone come up with um, a moment of individual brilliance or individual quality, which is which is just something we accept. Um, but again, we're pleased with the last two performances um, and we want to try and see if we can build and use the fact that we've got players now coming back and use the fact that we've been a little bit more solid um, in order to build a little bit of a run ourselves. Grounds, he was the only one that picked um, a little knock-up in the game, but he managed to get through the game. We're hoping that um, by perhaps not training too much, um, he'll be okay. He'll be okay for for the game. Uh, again, we'll find out a little bit more today. Um, and also, you know, good news. Good news on um, the injury front. I think Cots is training today, and Robbo's training today, and I think Clayton perhaps a couple of days away from training as well. So it might be more for for next week. So um, you know, hopefully, if they. Uh, get a good session in I think that'll just give the lads a lift um, whether or not they'll be available for selection I think could probably be a little bit too uh, too close but we'll see The Blues boss has also been impressed with the recent form of Loney John Terrell who had a positive impact as a half-time substitute on Tuesday night You could argue with John and I know it's a very easy and flippant thing to say but you could argue that he should be in double figures at the moment with his goals because he's had lots and lots of opportunities um, but I think what he does do he, he, when he comes on the pitch he gives you that little bit of impact and quality um, and when he starts since he's come out of the team and got back into the team I think he's had a little extra zip about his play which I think you find for any young player it's hard to see John as a 20 year old you know you kind of look at him and you you almost think he's a little bit older than that and a little bit more mature the way he plays and the, the calmness and composure he shows. But, you know, he is only 20 and, and you've got to remember, you know, he's not dissimilar in age to Dimari and, and Viv Solomon Otterbor of, of who we're all a little bit more patient with in terms of sometimes the end product. So, um, But he's certainly been an excellent player for us so far this season and I expect him to kick on even more um, from now on in. Now the manager can look ahead to Friday's match against Cardiff City and he's confident his side are up for another tough fixture. We know it's going to be a, another um, tough game, but I, you know I think the players prefer that. I think if you ask most of the players, they prefer that little bit of consistency of games. I mean, no, it's physically demanding, um, but we're a fit group and I can't remember a game where in the last 15 minutes the opposition's looked more energetic than us and looked stronger than us. I felt at Middlesbrough last 15 we were stronger. I felt at Preston last 15 we were stronger. I think in most games this season we've been stronger late on in the game. Uh, I think our key really is to be stronger in the opening stages of the game, um, which I think will, will, will serve as well.